What is going on, guys? Brandon here. Thursday, May 4th, be with you, 2023. Had to say that. I only learned about that like four or five years ago, to be quite honest. I don't know where I've been for 36 years. But uh, yeah, just just found out about that a handful of years ago. So, so be it. Let's roll. Let's see what's going on today. We have uh, really interesting, again, just the energy the, the collapse is imminent, as we know, of the dollar, of the banking system, of the monetary system here in America. The lower standard of living that is coming to Americans, all all coming. Oh, and by the way, please share this out. Please share If you see truth anywhere, if you see something that resonates with you inside, please share it out because the truth, the algorithm hates truth. And the algorithm, the pe people at the top don't want you to know truth, right? So anything that's mainstream and, and going to be promoting the people at the top and them getting enriched is going to be, you know, your CNBC, your Bloomberg, Fox News, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, right? That's all the, the mainstream people at the top, the the 1% of 1% of 1% that run the world that get everything, right? Well, that's what happens. And that's allowed in a fiat inflationary monetary system. In a deflationary hard money system, not gold and silver, because that didn't work for thousands of years, right? It was the best we had. Now we have something better. We have Bitcoin. We have something across time and space, something that takes the power out of the hands of the of the people at the top and distributes it back to the people. Now we have something to fix that. So we talk about it all the time. People say, oh, why do you talk about Bitcoin so much? Because that's the answer for crying out loud. If, if we, we humans need help and we have to end videos, we have to talk about it in each video. I don't want to sit here and just be like, oh, times are, times are garbage. You know, like things are going to be really bad. Social unrest is going to be really crazy because it is. But we have hope. We actually have light at the end of the tunnel. We actually have something to work for and to work toward. We actually have the answer. It's here. It's been discovered. So when you have the bond market flailing about, when you've got it, you know, dipping again, being the yields bought, being bought or going down and, and bonds being bought up this, this downward trajectory over the last six, eight months. And you have the dollar strength weakening. So the big three, the trifecta, the dollar relative strength, the bonds, the 10 year yield and energy. And then you've got energy dipping at $68, the lowest it's been in two years, I believe, or right around there. Showing us, again, weakening in the economy and showing us that, hey, things are going to, you know, the 08 crash took a few years to kind of trickle through as well. It really was like, what, 07? Some even say 06, but 07, 08, and then 09, and then it bottomed 2012. So this thing takes a while. So we had seen what happened in 21, 22, and it's going to take a few more years to really play out. And the the lower standard of living is is coming to an American near you. And it, it's in the fact that, People are selling off their reserves. They're selling the dollar long term. They're going to continue doing this. So inflation will continue to mount as time goes on because the dollar will mathematically always be debased because it has to be. Financial repression is the name of the game from the IMF, Ben Bernanke in 02 saying deflation, why can't happen here? They will have to print it into oblivion. And for those of you that say, well, technology is going to be so deflationary combating it. These people need to fight in the deflation with inflation. So they will they will win long term. They will completely destroy the dollar. They will print it into oblivion, trying to fight off and fend off deflation. You're they're in this never ending game. You're in this never ending loop. This is why you need a deflationary money for a deflationary world that we live in. We have technology, AI, everything being deflationary. If you had a deflationary money like Bitcoin that accrued value over time and increased purchasing power and increased the standard of living everywhere, it's the perfect trade. It's the perfect finite asset for your finite time. You can't trade anything else for your finite time. But yet many people trade their finite time for infinite liabilities, fiat currencies they think are assets. That's why so many people have hard times in life and they can't afford it. That is it. Long story short, you could, I could just come in here every single day and say that last two or three sentences and then done. Shut the camera off. Done. Done. Just beat it over everyone's head. That is it. That is the only thing. That's the answer right there. But so many people don't want to see it. They don't want to be seen. Alvin Toffler said, those who are successful in the future will have to learn, unlearn, and then relearn. I've had to go through the same process the last 15 years of un understanding, oh my gosh, the system's working against us. We're being played and then having to rework my mind and create new neural pathways after thousands of hours of reading, videos, etc. So with the dollar relative strength, we see this mass uh, over the last year, it, it going down, well, oil, sorry, oil going down. And this is going to continue because 
we're, we're in a recessionary time. So people are not going to be using as much going forward, but we're going to continue to continue to monitor it because they need oil up. I mean, the people at the top need to oil up. They need the prices up. So we're in this really battle, really big battle. And this is why things are violently swinging and people have no idea what's going on. Social unrest is increasing because you have these forces that are opposing each other and, and just beating, ramming heads. And you have, you look at gold, I believe broke its all time high gold. Yeah. Gold rose to a record high of $2,070 an ounce before pairing back it gains a little bit, uh, silver up over $26. Let's see silver. I don't know. I don't even know the last time, a uh, couple year, two, two years, maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. I mean this, it, we're in, we're in clown world. We live in clown world. We have the, the trifecta and then the three global liquidity in, indicators are gold, silver, and Bitcoin. And Bitcoin's at 29,000 showing us again, these, these commodities are showing us, Hey, there's problems in the system. You know, energy is showing us, Hey, there's problems in the system because quite honestly, the bond market and the dollar really haven't been showing us much lately. They've been somewhat flat and the volatility has been down just a little bit on those, but energy, boy, oh boy. I mean, look at the oil again, $68 a barrel have been really just falling off the table here and showing us that the markets are like, Whoa, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I, I'm not sure what's happening. So, so stay tuned, stay prepared. Is Bitcoin running? That's the question. Is Bitcoin running? Oh, it looks like we just got in a block a minute ago. Bitcoin is running. Beautiful. Predictable. Issuance is auditable and predictable. The block coming in every 10 minutes, predictable, auditable, run your own node. You can audit the entire thing. Can you do that with the Federal Reserve? <laughs> can you do that with your banking system? Your banking system is a custodial fiat rail. You are trusting a third party to have your currency there. And people say, well, it's guaranteed and FDIC and the money, the currency can be printed by the government. How do you think that currency comes into existence, folks? How do we think that happens? That is the problem. That's the problem. And you know what? I have a, <clears throat> let's see here. I've got a quote. Let's see here. I want to share with you something that is really important, to be quite honest. This is what Bob Burnett posted about Bitcoin. Someone said, hey, it's really good info, but the problem is Bitcoin's distribution. It's not really a truly decentralized money because 90% of it has already been issued to a few million people and it becomes the global currency. Those people are just the new feudal lords. This is a common, common objection and problem that people have, especially a lot of the younger crowd. They love crypto. Bitcoin is not crypto and crypto is not Bitcoin, remember. So this is a common objection people have. And they say, well, it, thinking that Bitcoin is all in these other hands, which is completely opposite of what Bitcoin does and how it works. So this is an answer from Bob Burnett, who runs Barefoot Mining, who's a genius, sold I don't know what he did. He sold something to Microsoft or, you know, Gateway or something like that back 30 years ago. I mean, the guy is, the guy is a smart, smart, smart guy. Um, so he says, whales do not control Bitcoin and they can do nothing to change that. They did, however, earn their Bitcoin. The opportunity for everyone in the world existed and still exists to stack a ton of it, Bitcoin. Everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. That said, when the world moves to a Bitcoin standard, those with lots of Bitcoin will start to trade it for assets and it will get distributed more widely and evenly, evenly throughout society. The problem of wealth inequality, here's the important part. The problem of wealth inequality is not fixed directly by Bitcoin. This is not a solvable issue. In fact, it isn't an issue. People that work harder and smarter deserve more. And this will always be the case. Just like Jesus says, the poor will always be among you. There's always going to be people that want to work harder than others, period. Wealth inequality, so wealth disparity will always exist, Bob says, no matter what monetary system exists, which is so true. And this is rarely talked about. So, so true. What Bitcoin does is fix that no one can counterfeit their way to wealth. They must work for it, period, period. So what I said earlier of the government and, and the people at the top, they get to steal your time and energy through taxation and through inflation. That's done. Game over. Game over. We're defunding the feudal lords at the top. Bitcoin makes you earn it. You have to pay for it with time and energy, capital, or you have to work for it and earn it. It's the only two ways. Government's the same way. Everyone would be the same way. You, you can't just print more of it. You can't just print more into oblivion and create wealth for yourself. And then all the people below you get screwed over because you've debased their currency. That's the current system we have. Bitcoin fixes that. That's why the, this, the Bitcoin fixes that moniker is a thing.
So we have this perfectly auditable system. It, it, Bitcoin wins in, in the cultural way, the social layer, the auditability, the numbers, everything. Bitcoin wins in every single way. This is why it's gone from zero to all the way up to $30,000 per Bitcoin. Because monetary system, the fiat monetary system is designed to collapse. So it will go to infinity. It will go to infinity. Bitcoin will be go to infinity per Bitcoin because that's how low the dollar can go. The dollar can go to zero and will go to zero. All fiat currencies have a 100% failure rate. So that doesn't make you excited about the future. I would get some Bitcoin. It's not for financial advice. It's freedom advice because it might just catch on, as Satoshi Nakamoto said. So get some, start learning about it, start learning about the future and start building. If you can, start building the future and learning about educating people about the future we have that is here in front of us. The Bitcoin Titanic or the Bitcoin life raft off the sinking fiat Titanic. So I am trying to do what, everything I can to usher in this new age of freedom. And I am very, very grateful for everyone here doing the same thing and, and watching the channel every day. So please share this out. The algorithm hates truth. Appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. Question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. And I said already that this is not financial advice. It's freedom advice. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.